A hero whose existence was made possible by fans of the Kamen Rider series, Kamen Rider Sick Cross. Following the broadcast of the final episode of Kamen Rider Super 1 in October of 1981, fans of the series came together to host events to celebrate Kamen Rider. These gatherings, known as Kamen Rider Easter Festivals, took place in November of 1981 and April of 1982. They provided a way for fans of the franchise to connect with each other and the staff who produced these programs. Shotaro Ishinomori attended one of these events and it was here where he announced that there would be a 10th Kamen Rider. In the days following Ishinomori's pledge to bring Kamen Rider back with a new hero, Toei TV producer Toru Hirayama and Toshio Tanaka, editor-in-chief Okodansha's TV magazine, promised to lend their support to this potential new entry in the series. This led to a collaboration between Ishinomori, Toei, and Kodansha to bring together a collection of sponsors to help further support for this project. Their efforts would result in the formation of the Rider No. 10 planning committee. This group included Ishimori Productions, Toei, and members of the fan community who helped reignite interest in the Kamen Rider franchise. An important decision made by the committee was that this new Kamen Rider would come to life in the pages of magazines like TV Land, not a TV series. This was followed by a call for character illustrations and name proposals in the 1982 July issue of TV Land. Then, in the next issue, potential attacks and body specifications for this new rider were outlined for readers. Then, on August 14, a special radio broadcast was scheduled as part of the evening radio series All Night Nippon, Kamen Rider, 10th birthday with Shotaro Ishinomori. It was here that the 10th rider's name was finally announced, Kamen Rider Set Cross. The next day, the name was confirmed at a special event where Ishinomori also announced the actor who played this newest hero, Shun Sugata, the actor who had previously been a finalist for the lead role in Kamen Rider Super 1 would finally have an opportunity to play a Kamen Rider. Following these media events, Kamen Rider Sick Cross Adventures would continue to be promoted and developed across various magazines. The character's print run would come to an end on September of 1983, but Kamen Rider Sick Cross would make a big return in just a few months with the premiere of his television movie on January 3rd 1984. Birth of the 10th, Kamen Riders all together would chronicle the story of Ryo Murasame, a college student who is shut down by the Badam Empire while flying a small plane above the Amazon. He is then put through a procedure that transforms him to Set Cross, a combat cyborg. He will go on to quickly rise through the ranks of the evil organization and befriend another cyborg, Eisuke Mikage, whose enhanced form is Tiger Roid. The two would compete with each other to develop their skills and become the top two Badan soldiers. But after experiencing another airplane crash, Ryo regains his memory of what happened before he was converted into a cyborg and turns against the organization, destroying their base of operations. Upon his return to Japan, he reunites with Dr. Kaido and his daughter Rumi. With the help of the doctor, Ryo comes to understand what happened to his body and how he was remade as a cyborg following his plane crash in the Amazon. Unfortunately, this discovery by Dr. Kaido leads to him being killed, which further fuels Ryo's need for revenge against the organization. But unknown to him, since the destruction of their base, Ambassador Darkness relocated Badan's operations to Japan, 
and recently they had a breakthrough that would make their ambitions to destroy the world a reality. The Space Break System. This new weapon is able to warp space, allowing it to destroy its target instantly. In its inaugural test, which used less than 1% of its power, demonstrated just how fearsome this new system is. It instantly destroyed buildings, civilians, and entire city blocks. Now all that is needed to fully bring the system online is Badanium-84. But after witnessing its horrifying power, the scientists who built this ultimate weapon regret their role in building it and decide to defect the Empire. Unfortunately, their escape is short-lived and they are quickly eliminated by Tiger Roid. Encouraged by Aizuka's efficient elimination of the scientists, Ambassador Darkness assigns him with another mission, to hunt down and kill his old friend Ryo Murasame for betraying and escaping the Badam Empire. Meanwhile, the Kamen Riders have been working behind the scenes gathering data on the Empire's movements and Badanium 84 truck convoys. This allows multiple teams of riders to destroy the trucks transporting the fuel they need to fully power their space brake system. But as Rider Man and Kamen Rider Super 1 are fighting Badan soldiers, Real mistakes them for enemies who are looking to steal Badanium 84 for themselves. This leads to a short-lived fight between the riders, which culminates when Ryo, as Kamen Rider Set Cross, is made to understand by V3 that they are allies in the fight against Badan. Unfortunately, while the riders were distracted, one truck manages to make it back to their home base and they are now getting ready to fully power up their weapon. In anticipation of their battle against the Empire, V3 sits down with Ryo to share the history and background of each rider. This helps our newest hero understand what being a Kamen Rider means and what they fight for. But their gathering is cut short when they get word that the location of Badan's base has been discovered. While en route to their headquarters, Ryo is blocked by his old friend Aizuke who will not allow him to pass through. This leads to a duel to the death that showcases the strength of two of Badan's top cyborg creations. Tiger Roy's cannons against Kamen Rider Sekros's ability to analyze his opponent's attacks, various weapons, and his final attack, Sekros Kick. In the end, Sekros wins the battle and is acknowledged by his old friend. Unfortunately for the riders, Ambassador Darkness was able to fuel the space brake system and is ready to use it. The stage is now set for the 10 Kamen Riders to face off against the Badam Empire in one final battle that will determine the survival of the world. Can Kamen Rider Set Cross rise to the occasion as the newest rider? Birth of the 10th, Kamen Riders all together was the culmination of a collected effort by fans, Ishinomori, and the production team behind the Kamen Rider series to bring the franchise back to television. The special serves as a way to bring to life the newest Kamen Rider and to celebrate the history of the series by bringing back some of its most memorable moments and characters. The latter includes Shiro Kasami's extended appearance as a mentor to Zack Cross. Played by veteran actor Hiroshi Miyaushi, this special would mark his last physical appearance in the Kamen Rider series. It was also the last time we see actors Takahisa Yamaguchi and Chunsuke Takasugi in the series. While Kamen Rider Zack Cross never went on to become a full-length TV series, its characters would go on to appear in future Kamen Rider productions and media. The first of these was in the final arc of the 1988-89 TV series Kamen Rider Black RX. This would be followed by a reimagining of the character in the second arc of the Kamen Rider Spirits manga. In this story, Ryo Murasame is introduced as an evil cyborg who leads a platoon of soldiers on behalf of the Badam Empire. 
his fight against the original Nine Riders would culminate with the return of his lost memories, which helped him turn against the Empire. He's joined in the manga by a reimagined Tiger Roid, Asuke Mikage. In this interpretation, he was originally an Interpol agent who decided to join the Batam Empire. His Tigeroid form was also further enhanced, making him far more powerful than the version of the character that was previously featured in the TV special. In 2009, the character would resurface in Kamen Rider Decade the movie, All Riders vs. Die Shocker. This story centers on a fighting tournament that is being held to find the strongest Kamen Rider in a bid to stop the destruction of the multiple worlds of this universe. Kamen Rider Sekros's opponent is Ryuki, who he loses to, but he would return alongside the other riders for the final battle against Dai Shocker's forces. In 2011, Sekros reappears in O's, then O All Riders Let's Go Kamen Riders. In this movie, Sekros returns to help Oz defeat Shocker's great leader in an ultimate attack, through which the Kamen Riders use their motorcycles as an element of the final finisher move. Tigeroid also appears in this movie as one of the many antagonists the Kamen Rider face off against. Kamen Rider Sekros would return in 2012's Kamen Rider Super Sentai Super Hero Tyson. In this work, he fights alongside the Kamen Riders and Super Sentai teams against the Shocker Sangyak Alliance. His nemesis, Tiger Roid, also makes a cameo as part of Dai Shocker's forces. In 2014's Heisei Rider vs. Showa Rider, Kamen Rider Tyson Feet Super Sentai, Kamen Rider Sekros returns to the spotlight. In this feature, Ryo Murasame goes undercover to investigate the Badang Empire as part of a broader plan by Takeshi Hongo. This appearance is notable for being the first time since the 1984 TV special that actor Shun Sugata physically appears on screen as Ryo before transforming to Set Cross. Tigeroid is also a featured character in this film. In it, he takes on Kamen Rider Fies with the support of a squad of combat roids. We also see the 1984 version of the space brake system being referenced under the guise of Badan's newest weapon, the Mega Reverse Machine. In 2015, Sekros comes back in Superhero Tyson GP Kamen Rider 3. In this appearance, he was brainwashed by Shocker and is known as Shocker Rider Set Cross before being restored to his normal state. In the 2017 movie Kamen Rider Super Sentai Show Super Hero Tyson, Kamen Rider Set Cross appears as part of Team Ninja, which is made up of Super Sentai heroes with a ninja team. His arch nemesis, Tiger Roid, Meanwhile appears in Kamen Sentai Go Rider, an original miniseries that was first broadcast on the web. His most recent appearance was alongside the other Kamen Riders in the 2021 film Saver plus Zenkaiger Superhero Senki. In this work, he takes part in an all out battle against Asmodeo's forces. The character of Set Cross has also made numerous appearances in other media including video games, books, stage shows, and more, ensuring that his legacy extends well past his original appearances in TV magazine and the 1984 TV special. Today, the character is fondly remembered and become an integral part of the Kamen Rider mythos. And today, you can experience his humble origins by visiting the Toei Tokutatsu World YouTube channel which is hosting the 1984 TV special as part of Kamen Rider's 50th anniversary celebrations. Use the link in the description below to get started.